morning. It is Friday, December the 13th. Friday the 13th. The last one of the year. Friday the 13th. Yeah, yeah. It, it has to be. Yeah. And then we had a full moon last night. We did. So I hope you all survived that. We know how yeah. crazy that can be in the healthcare systems. Yeah, those full moons. <laughs> Brings out the best in everybody. Yeah, they really do. They really, yeah. really do. Really do. <laughs> so um, we wanted to do an update today on our 30-day challenge for positive thinking. Yep. And so our challenge was for these this 30 days till the first part of December, we're going to try to um, change any negative thoughts we have and turn them into positive thoughts. So how have you done? I, I did okay. I've done okay so far. There's a couple instances where I've began to, it's, it's really more of a state of mind that I've it noticed is. than anything. It's really, that hasn't, I was kind of concerned because it like, oh my God, this <laughs> is going to be a challenge. But it's really just a state of mind and just whenever you start thinking something negative, you just go, wait a second. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Because mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, sometimes the negativity can overwhelm, but I guess practice makes perfect and, yes. and getting there is probably the best way, the best medicine. I agree. Really. And I've had a couple of times too, but I'm mm -hmm. I'm trying to catch myself. Of course, I've been mm -hmm. doing this for a while, mm -hmm. so I have a little more practice. Sure. And it is, it is a muscle. You learn, you yeah. train yourself, you have to retrain yourself. And they say it takes 30 days to change mm -hmm. a habit. Yeah. That's why we're doing a 30 day challenge. Well, and it's a, it's, it's about the journey as well as the destination too, I think. Absolutely. So I think that practice there, uh, but no, I was seriously, like there's, there was a couple of times where I was beginning to think something negative of a, I mean, of various <laughs> different things, yes. whether it be because of work, whether it be because of a sport, even, I don't know if you guys are sports followers yeah. or not, but, um, sometimes that you just gotta go, wait a second, hold on. And then try to change it because it's and try is really is really the key word it here. is you, you have yes. to try it's, it's it takes effort in order to do that so right um yeah what about you I, I i'm i'm doing okay doing i am okay? um, yes and i i had a couple of times too and i caught myself and um i really find it's helpful to have somebody who can help you be accountable right so i've got lots of people around me cool that awesome. will say Typic Did you really mean that? So with <laughs> me, typically the, the the negativity doesn't come flowing out of my mouth. Ah, uh, it's I'm in not, your head. I'm not usually something that just, I'm not usually somebody that just says whatever's on my mind. Um, mm -hmm. It's usually in my head, and it just festers and festers and oh. festers until it eats at me. And so, um, yeah, no, I it, I don't really have anybody that can hold me accountable. So if you're somebody like that, you're really gonna have to have some personal accountability there. Absolutely. If you're like me and you're not somebody that really says what you think all the time, you're usually more reserved in, in how you speak, mm -hmm. um, you have to have some personal accountability and really think about what you're thinking because the thought alone, oh, which we talked about last week. Your which we unconscious talked about last, mind doesn't unconscious, know the difference. Yep, they don't know if it's you or somebody else telling you whatever it is, wh whether it's yourself, whether it's your own brain telling you that something negative as opposed, and typically, Something that I've also noticed is people like me that tend to be a little bit more reserved. A lot of the negativity is directed at themselves as well. Oh, I would so, agree. Yeah. Yes, and we yeah. know, don't need to do that. Right. Because yeah. like I said, that's not how the world yeah. sees you. Exactly. So you shouldn't see yourself that Exactly. Way. So I agree. here's our list of, we don't have the graphic up at the moment, but the list of the... Um, the different things we thought that could help, like exercise and mm -hmm. drinking three cups of tea a day. Have you done? Oh, there it is. Have you done any of those? I have been drinking more water. Awesome. Uh, so I've been staying to that. I fell, I fell off a little bit and gotten onto a little bit more Mountain Dew back, but uh -huh. I'm still, I'm still staying there. Cool. Now, um, the the exercise I've been doing more work. I actually installed. Funny story. I installed a toilet on Thanksgiving. Well, that's exciting. So on Thanksgiving, <laughs> I installed a toilet. So I've been trying to do more. That I, does I don't take know. some exercise, I guess, to lift. And, and I don't know why I did it on Thanksgiving either. And I know that's a really well, weird sentence know, that I just said. But it, it, it happened. It's true. It, it is true. When you got to fix it, you got to fix it. You yeah. know? So, you know, try to <laughs> pick up some more things around the house, not be so. So I've been trying mm -hmm. to do a little bit more exercise in more of a productive manner as opposed to just standing, like going to the gym myself. And, and you know what? I don't, I don't have the time for that. We'll talk more about exercise because that's going to be part of our next month challenge. Okay. But, um, you know, exercise doesn't have to be you know, running a mile. It can be doing some stretches, True. you know, little, just mm -hmm. easy True. stretches, yoga. Um, it could even be working in your garden, although I can't do that right now. Mm -hmm. um, or in my case, I have stairs at home. So I go up and up down and the stairs, stairs a lot, stairs. which is good cardio for me. Well, and also uh, I, I believe music was something that was on there oh, as well. Yeah. I've been listening to a lot more I've been listening to some different music lately, mm -hmm. it's more mm -hmm. of a positive nature sort of music as opposed mm -hmm. to 
the music that I typically tend to listen to. So. And I don't know about you, but I, music is a huge part of my life. It always has yeah. been. And so I always have a song in my head. Always. As do I. As do always. I. So maybe we all do that. But I find, especially if I'm in my quiet time getting ready for bed or mm -hmm. meditation, sometimes that song, I listen to the words of that song and I think, oh, those words aren't good. You know, those yeah. are those are negative words and I didn't even realize it because it's an upbeat tune. Well, but I, I have that negativity rolling. Yeah. And so that's something I caught myself well, on last night. And so I have a fallback song that I start thinking about. And I think, I think <laughs> you I know and I had a, had a musical conversation before because I am I grew up around music. I taught myself how to play the guitar when I was like 11 years old. And I've been teaching myself other, my, myself other cool. musical instruments as I moved uh, throughout life. Um, and I, when I listen to music, I listen to the music first before I listen to the lyrics. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, really whatever is being said in the lyrics, I honestly don't even hear. Mm -hmm. So because, in, in regards to the music, mm -hmm. it's got to be, the, it's got to be more of a fulfilling. They're, Upbeat. Yeah. Now, if you're listening mm -hmm. to metal, that's obviously an aggressive tone yeah, yeah. as opposed to other sorts of music. And there so, are yeah. times for that. I think maybe you save that for when you're exercising. Yeah. Yeah. Because that makes there, you, Yeah, I, you which know. I do. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, I, what I did, I did. Yeah. I, I used to exercise. I promise. I promise I did. <laughs> I promise I used to exercise. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, well... So let's see, what else can yep. we talk about? Um, let's talk about the new virtual campus of care. Yeah, let's do that. Because there have been changes. We upgraded to a new system. Mm -hmm. So it was down a couple of weeks, but it is back up now. Mm -hmm. We had a few glitches in the beginning, but yep. we think we've got it all figured out. So we're going to take you through the process on the computer and show you how to log in for the first time and change your password sure. and um, how to get into the courses, just in case any of you have questions about it and you right. can refer back to the videos. So, so, so uh, it was on December 5th it was when we actually upgraded our system and we updated our system. And so because we updated the system, there are a couple things that do need to be noted here. And one of them I'm going to, we're going to show you through this exercise. Uh, the first thing is once you log in, you have to reset your password as Lisa just said, you do have to reset your password. Um, now, along that line, if you're wanting your old transcripts, you will have to mm. contact us. And I'm, I'm gonna give you some contact information here at the end. So let's go ahead and get on into it and uh, and we'll, we'll show you a thing or two. All okay. Right? Okay, so here we are on the NACA website. You're going to go as you normally did from the NACA website to NBCC login, as we have highlighted here. Um, welcome to NACA. Uh, that is the LMS or the learning management system. You're simply going to hit or click on login. And then we're gonna use Lisa's uh, login as this example. Uh, yours will probably be uh, first name dot last name, whichever, whatever the username was previously, uh, it's still before, your username. Yeah, yeah. Okay. if you're, if mine was Dane dot Henning, it's going to stay Dane dot Henning. Okay. Now yours, as an individual, your password will be as a default password one with a capital P and the number one. You go to log in, and then immediately it should ask you, just like it does here, please enter a new password for your account. Uh, I'm going to let Lisa take over here, so that way. I don't know her password. All right, there you go. And then we are in. <laughs> I'm uh, then you just click hit reset password and it's complete. And then when you log in, you see here, yeah, it says that your training time is zero, zero. And because that's because the transcripts haven't moved over. Um, but those can be moved over on request. Uh, so now let's, as soon as you log in, you have direct access to every course here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on, I saw voter registration here and that's my favorite one. Okay. And then there you are. It, it, it's just like before. It's quite simple, quite easy. And you just move through the system awesome. like you always did. Now you said they could, we could move their transcripts back on request. Yeah. That's, that's my understanding from Matthew mm -hmm. that progress and all that stuff can be moved over on request any sort of certificates that you need digitally this that says hey i finished this if mm -hmm. you are showing this to your administrator and you right. need to show some status or something like that we can easily get that done because we do have that information it just didn't move over through the update okay, we went ahead good. and exported all of the information so that it was taken care of um 
Something else that I would like to note is that the advanced courses and the certified preceptor courses must be in, must be assigned by an instructor. So whomever your instructor is, that person can go in and assign that for you. Um, kind of like just like before, just it didn't automatically go over there. So there's okay. going to be some communications that need, need to happen. And um, while I have the opportunity, Gary, if you could put up uh, Matt's email, uh, mm -hmm. This Matthew Cantrell, he's the person that was in charge of the upgrade, the update to the um, to the current version of okay. the NACA LMS or the NVCC LMS. Okay, so um, so are you saying if somebody has already done all the basic courses and they're doing the preceptor courses now, mm -hmm. they can't continue those until their they'll be assigned by teacher. yeah they'll be assigned is that by somebody their at their facility or is that somebody that's in somebody our organization here. okay that's so yep. they can also reach out to matt for that if they'll necessary reach out to matt as well. yep. okay mm -hmm. all right well that's some good information yeah if you have more questions you can reach out to any of us we do have um, the instructions on the facebook page so you yeah. can go and read through the instructions if there was anything here that you missed, mm -hmm. or you can certainly reach out to us and we're glad to help you in any way we can. And if for whatever reason you forgot your, so like I said, yeah, it was typically first, mm -hmm. dot, first name dot last name. If you forgot it, just, you, you can call me actually. You can also call me here at the mm -hmm. office and I'll be more than happy to look it up as well. Or you could just shoot Matt an email and he should be able yeah. to get that information to you too pretty quickly. So, yeah. so get on those courses. Yeah. All right. Well, then if that's all we've got, we're going to say goodbye for today. We hope you have a safe and happy Friday the 13th. Yes. And we will see you back on Monday. And we're Monday. going to be talking about Christmas traditions. Yes. So, all right. We'll see you then. Right, have thanks. a great week. Bye-bye.